listen, we cannot come on the air at five o'clock on this Tuesday night and act like this is normal, this lead story. It's not. Since Sunday, 10 people have been shot. Four of them have been dead, killed, murdered in the city of Baltimore, and we're just talking in the last 48 hours. And then that includes a quadruple and triple shootings within hours of one another in Northwest Baltimore. Brian Keebler been looking into this for us and he joins us now with the latest. Brian? Kelly, you can cut these numbers a number of different ways, but in the end, more lives are lost, others are in the grips of even more trauma. Some of these decorations are meant for a Halloween scare but some that remain from last night are legitimately terrifying. The remnants of crime tape are still tied to fence posts and railings at the corner of Pimlico and Quantico Avenues. Today, a Baltimore City police officer walked a foot patrol in the area while the owners of this corner store repaired a door they say was damaged by the shooting. Four people were shot here last night. One person killed. Not too far away, on Liberty Heights a few hours later, another multiple victim shooting. This time in an apartment above a storefront. Three people shot. 19-year-old Donnell Dixon was killed. Police found him out front on the sidewalk. It's only three blocks from me. It's only three blocks. Lisa Moore stopped into the store nearby today and learned of the violence. She's only been in Baltimore about 10 years, but she says the pace of violence lately is rough. The young men, she says, need an intervention. It's a lot to take in. It really is. It really is. But they're going to have to start finding these guys something to do besides being out lottering in front of stores all day long. If not, some say the violence will go unchecked. Like when police say Kiosha Moore was killed here on Fairlawn Avenue in northwest Baltimore yesterday, a street full of auto body shops, but part of which is in plain view of the northwest district station house. Add the daytime homicide in southeast Baltimore on Sunday, and in the last 48 hours, four people are gone. Another six have been shot. Now, Baltimore police declined an on-camera interview today about the violence. Instead, in a statement, a spokesperson says the department found last night's violence deeply disturbing. 